We alert. Badi ne kokore furukure kin. Yeah, you see that? I can use Google Translate too. I talk about my favorites a lot on this channel. And yes, with a U, Canada exists too, you know. Favorite games, favorite music, favorite anime, favorite YouTubers, favorite, uh, flatbread based superheroes. But I've never talked about my favorite manga, which is surprising considering I read more manga nowadays than I watch anime. So this video will touch on some of my favorite manga, specifically four of my favorite manga. Just remember that these are but my opinions and therefore concrete fact. The first favorite manga of mine I will talk about is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, a choice which most people could predict either by glancing at my channel's video tab or just looking at the thumbnail. I'm an unabashed Jojo fanatic ever since I first watched the 2012 anime, though back then I liked it more for the memes and its unique art style and I would unironically say Kono Diora in school. We don't talk about those times. However, only once I started reading the part 5 manga after the part 4 anime ended did I fully realize this was not just a ha 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 look at the funny meme kind of franchise, but a manga with incredible stories, characters, and themes. A manga that explores the world we live in with great real world accuracy, and a manga worth all the respect it has received from readers and authors alike not to mention with an author that has incredible music taste. And now today, I have finished reading every part of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and am caught up on the latest chapter of Jojolian, and during all that manga reading, I loved every second. Personally, for me to classify anything as a favorite, it must pass two criteria. It has to have entertained me greatly, and have had to have an impact on me beyond the pages and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure passes both with flying colors. I feel no greater joy than when a new Jojolian chapter comes out, and if you have seen any of my videos on Jojo, then you know how much the music it introduced me to has affected me as a person. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious, my favorite parts in order of most to least are Part 7, Part 5, Part 8, Part 4, Part 2, Part 6, Part 3, and Part 1. Favorite characters are Guido Mista, Mamazuku Rai, and Speedwagon, naturally. And my favorite arc is tied between King Crimson vs. Metallica from Part 5 and Vitamin C and Killer Queen from Part 8. More people should read Part 8. It's great. Moving on to the second manga, it is a long-standing classic that is considered by many to be THE best manga ever, Berserk. I have talked about my love for Berserk before in my first Weeb Alert video, but I feel I haven't expressed my love for the series as much as I should. I'm like Hitler. One country just isn't enough. I read Berserk in its entirety and watched the Amazing 97 anime early in my anime journey. I was at the age when having lots of blood and guts in a story made it cool to watch. But soon after I started to read it, I realized something was different. Younger Olden Gold was taken aback. His head turned away the power emulating from the story too immense. What? What is this? He muttered. This atmosphere, masterful artwork, deep world-building character analysis, philosophical themes! Uh, how can this be? This, this is beyond what I have ever known. Is this what art is? A bit hyperbolic, but you get the point. This was my first experience with a story that had more depth and intellect than Sword Art Online. Making fun of SAO, eh? 2016 called. They want their joke back. Berserk has such realistic characters and fleshed out reasons for their actions that it really made me realize how few characters in anime actually act like real people. People with flaws, people with guilt, and people with personality. That's what Berserk is really all about, isn't it? Not of the epic fantasy world or Guts' battle with demons, but of people and their relationships and aspirations. Berserk's great. You don't get to the top of manga ratings on my anime list for nothing, after all. If you haven't read Berserk, do it. A large amount of free time has been given to us recently, after all. Why not use it? Third manga of this video is one I have made a video on before on this channel. 
Dr. Stone. Now I have stated the reason I love Dr. Stone before, and if you have watched any amount of my videos, you know my opinion on edutainment. Mwah. You can bleep me. So I'll keep this short. Rather than go on once again on why I love edutainment and the way Dr. Stone portrays it, I will talk about the other strengths of Dr. Stone. Specifically, just how much the manga has changed and evolved since its start. It has gone from an interesting look at Stone Age technology and civilization, to a story about humanity, family, ideology, and more recently in the manga, grand adventure. I won't get into specifics as there might be many anime onlys watching, or more accurately very few, <laughs> but I'll just say that the recent manga chapters have been very hype, as the kids say. The more chapters I read of Dr. Stone, the more I love it. It's very unique for a manga and gives me a feeling like no other. So if you are interested in reading Dr. Stone, go check it out. It's fantastic as well as not being very long. I personally read it all in one night. Speaking of long, the fourth and last favorite manga of this video is One Piece. The undisputed king of Shonen Jump that is getting very close to its thousandth chapter. Now that's long, but it should tell you something about how good the story is for it to have been running for this many chapters. And good is quite the understatement of One Piece. A better word would be amazing, as that is what I feel about it. The world, the characters, the art, the themes, it all amazes me. Now many are reluctant to start reading One Piece. They don't want to have to sit down and read all those chapters just to catch up. And I was in that position too. Until one day, I just decided to try it. And I was so glad I did. I now realize that the length of One Piece is one of its greatest strengths as it has allowed for the world to gradually grow chapter by chapter until you have a massively complex world with so many moving pieces affecting the story. A world like that has to be built up over hundreds of chapters or people will start feeling overwhelmed. However, since it was added on to brick by brick, island by island, the reader gets intimately familiar with the world and, and before you know it you are excitedly waiting for any new information like a world building crackhead. It's great. So if you are still on the fence about starting One Piece, consider this video a recommendation to go out and try it. Or maybe you can try watching some other videos that are recommended by people much smarter than my smell. <laughs> my smell? <laughs> much smarter than myself, I, I think that explains it all. <laughs> These were four of my favorite mangas, and a little explanation on why I love them so. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Old and Gold, and this was Weeb Alert my favorite manga. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing for more. Also, follow me on Twitter, 